Hello, my loves. How are you? Welcome, welcome. I hope everybody had a fantabulous Saturday. When you come on in, make sure you say hello. We're going to be doing some bright colors tonight. Hello, Christina. How are you? I think that's Tia. Hello, Ms. Vicky. How is everybody doing tonight? Hello, Randy. Hello, Belinda. How is everyone? Is everybody having a good weekend? Hello, Sissy. How are you? Hey, Janine. How are you? Welcome to the room. Hello to all the newbies. Please make sure you sprinkle out. Sprinkling means to share. If we can get 300 sprinkles in the room tonight or 150 people in the room, I will be giving out the very awesome palette that I have right here. I'm, in fact, going to be using some of this palette tonight. So you're going to get this palette and you're going to get your choice of the white pencil eyeliner or the black one. The ones that go on like butter. So... Please sit back, enjoy, relax um, while I practice doing some bright colors here. Um, I figured since I have this lime green shirt on that I might as well go, hi Kai, and try doing some bright colors. Since yesterday we did the old, not yesterday, I wasn't actually on yesterday. The day before I did the plain look and then I wound up doing the old lady look. So that was really, really fun. Hey, Jess, it jumps. I don't know if Rosie's on. I did not see. I did not see Ms. Bacala come in yet. So we're going to go and we're going to add some really, really bright, vibrant colors. And we're going to kind of match my shirt that I'm wearing, which is like a, a lime green, I guess you would call it. I am going to be doing my nails tomorrow. I just filled them in. So... We will be doing nails tomorrow uh, during the day, which will be a change. I brought all of my nail stuff home. We'll be doing nail art on my nails tomorrow. I haven't decided whether to do all flowers or what I'm going to do yet, but it'll be a surprise. It'll be tomorrow, sometime tomorrow. I'm not sure what time, but um, it'll definitely be tomorrow. We'll be doing nails. Hello, Helen. How are you? I, I Listen... I cannot even tell you how many compliments <laughs> compliments I got on being old, okay? Um, I, I got so many compliments for being an old lady. Well, I guess that's what I'm going to look if God blesses me to live 100 years. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I got a lot of compliments on that look. How are you, Miss Helen? So let's start sprinkling. Let's get our groups going. Let's go and sprinkle this out to all of the groups that you may belong to. Um, I took off my nails. As you can see, I did a fill-in, and we're going to do nail art tomorrow. All right? Um, was going to do it tonight, actually, instead of doing makeup, but I figured, nah, we'll do makeup because I had this... I bought this green shirt today. I bought this green shirt for two dollars. <laughs> I had to say it. I bought it for two dollars. Hello, Miss Shay. Look at this. Well, listen. I'm gonna stand up so you can see it. All right. It's one of those ones you tie. I got jeans on right now, but I am normally I am normally a size large or sometimes in pants because I got the hips going on. Sometimes I'm a 1X, so I'm usually a 12, 14 kind of size. So I got my jeans on. For my tops, I'm always a medium to a large. This, my dears, is a 2X. It is a 2X, but I love the way it looks. It's really big, and I guess it, this isn't supposed to be so long and like this. Look how, how it goes down like that. But I like it. I think it looks pretty hippie-ish. And you know me when it comes to being a hippie, right? So I just tied it in a knot. Hey, for two bucks, I don't think you can beat it. I don't think you can beat it. So 
we wound up going to this store. We found this store today. And I was like, oh, let's check it out. Because uh, we were in the area. Hey, Karen, how are you? Steven Tyler's on TV. <laughs> is he? What is he on, Rosie? What's he on? No, I'm, I was going to do nails tonight, but I'm not going to do nails tonight. I just, I just filled them in. I just filled them in. So I'm just going to go and do the nails tomorrow. Hello, lovebies, Amanda. How you doing? How you doing, Amanda? How you doing, Karen? Randy, how are ya? Okay, so, like I said, we're going to go with bright colors tonight. So, I'm, I've got the lime green shirt on. I've got the lime green. This is the palette that I'm giving away, girls, if we hit 300 sprinkles. So, you'll see exactly the colors that are in this palette. Okay, so remember what I said two days ago about not using foundation on your face if you're going to go to the pool or if you're going to go to the beach and you want something that's going to be water resistant, right? Axe's TV. I don't think I get that, Rosie. So I'll tell you in a minute, Amanda. Hey, Miss Bobby. How are you, Mr. Bobby? Um, I got a letter in the mail today. I got a letter in the mail today from the hospital and it kind of took me off guard um, because it said that their diagnosis, I guess, in, in like, I'm, I'm going to do this in layman's terms, okay? The diagnosis that they gave me and the results from all of the MRIs and the CAT scans and all the tests they did came back inaccurate, so, they told me that I should go back to the hospital. Hey, Cecile. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Miss Barbara. So, they, it said that it came back inaccurate and that I should go back to the hospital and get more tests done. Which I found kind of weird. So I'm not going to go rushing back to the hospital. Because I think if it was an emergency. They probably would have called me. Right? I mean they would have said listen. Get your ass back to the hospital. Because you know the results are not right. So I don't know what it means. I'm going to call up my doctor tomorrow. And find out what I should do. If I should go back to the hospital. Um what it means, all that kind of stuff. So, anywho, two days ago, I showed you the airbrush legs. Remember this? I showed you the airbrush legs. And this is great if you're going to a pool, if you're going to swim, if you're going to go in the ocean. Uh, it's water resistant. It's for your legs, but you use you can use it anywhere. It is full coverage okay it hides varicose veins it hides any imperfections on your legs so years ago i wound up using these on my clients okay because it comes in different colors the one that i have and the one i've been using is tan or bronze so i'm going to use this tonight again just to show you and remember what i said it's very liquidy so you want to make sure that you're shaking this up Hey, sugar, sugar, sugar's in the house. So, yeah, I don't know what that meant. I got, now I got to call up the doctor and find out what do you mean? What do you mean that they came back inaccurate, that they were wrong with part of the diagnosis? Don't know. So, look, see how liquidy it is? It's really, really soupy. This is very soupy. So you're going to only do a little bit at a time. And I'm going to do one side of my face. And then I'm going to do the other. And you're going to see how tan it's going to look. Now with this, you've got to remember to do your neck. You've got to because it's going to look totally, totally different. Okay, totally different. See the difference already? F full coverage. 
Oh, and there's fireworks going. No, I'd rather you do it now, Tia, if you can. So I'm just going to go in and do the other side. I still have my makeup on from work today. I, I left the house while I woke up at 7, so I'm kind of tired. But um, because I didn't get home last night until almost 10 o'clock. So, yeah, it's been a long two days, but worth it. But worth it. You know, thank God I have a job. Thank God I'm making money. So, so this is going to be... A little bit on the shiny side but like I said remember um, you can always at the end add translucent setting powder to matte it out I just yeah everybody hello Sandra 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 how are you thank you for sprinkling girls I appreciate it 300 sprinkles and you're gonna get the palette that I'm gonna be working on tonight okay this is the palette that I'm gonna be working on so if you think that this looks a little bit too tan, you can go in. Or if you don't think it looks too tan or you think it looks too light, whatever the case is, I'm going to go even darker because why not? I'm going to go and I'm going to use some of my BB cream in the color caramel. So this is a dark cream, okay? It's a BB cream. I put about that much on and watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to add a little bit more color, a little bit more dewiness to my face. And I'm just blending it all in. And we're going to look like we went to the beach. Because I want to look super tan tonight. Super tan. Okay, now I look really dewy, right? I look really dewy. So I'm going to put that brush away. And we're going to start going into our eyes and into our brows. So first, let's do our brows. And we're going to go in with the brow palette. Hey, Miss Sherry. Hi, Debbie. Oh, I'm feeling okay, Sandra. Thank you for asking, baby cakes. Oh, uh, thank you, Miss Debbie. Were my ears going yesterday? Bring it. I was telling my friend Michelle about you and how much fun we all have. Oh, Cecile. Uh, my ears are always ringing, girlfriend. My ears are always ringing. And I swear to you, if I ever make it up there, you will be one of the first people that I come and visit. And that's the truth. That's the truth. You will be definitely one of the people that I visit. And you know what? You're not far from Long Island. So... I mean, all I got to do is take the ferry across and then head up to you. So if I go to Long Island for a visit, which I do quite often, I haven't gone in a while, but normally I go quite often. So if I do, I will let you know and we'll have to hook up for some lunch or something. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Bobby. I would love to meet... We would just we would just knock it knock it out of the park. That's all I know. We would have a blast. And the worst part of it would be saying goodbye because I am not good with goodbyes at all. So I'm gonna go in with my brow palette and I'm gonna try to find my mirror. There it is. Hidden under everything. And I'm gonna do my brows and I'm not gonna go so crazy on my brows because my eyes are gonna be really, really, really vibrant. So I'm gonna go in with my brow palette. And we're just going to do a little bit of an arch up here. And I'm going to start where, the, where I want the arch to go. Okay, I'm going to hold this like this. So this way you could see what I'm doing. So I'm going to follow this line and I'm just going to bring it up. You can see how much higher I'm bringing it up than my regular, my regular natural hairline. And then from there, we're just going to come down like so. All right, and then we're going to go take, follow the bottom line, bring it up, and connect it. It's really, really easy to do your brows. Once you get the hang of it, it's so easy. So that's all I'm going to do with that brow. Same thing with the other one. And then we're just going to blend it in a little bit. So let me move this bang out of the way. I'm going to follow that arch up. And then from there, we're just going to come down. Like so. Follow the bottom one. And we're just going to color it in. 
Bring the bottom in. That's really not so straight, Diane. You like cockeyed tonight. I'm a little cockeyed tonight, but that's okay. You know what? Leave that hanging. I'll leave it hanging so nobody can see the mistake. <laughs> Hey, even I make mistakes, all right? I'm tired. I had a long day. So now we're just going to kind of blend this in. We're going to come up and we're just going to blend it in. Okay, same thing with this one. It's a little cuckoo, crockeyed, cockeyed, but that's all right. It's okay. Hi, Megan. Thank you, babe. Thank you. These earrings are so old. These are so old. But I figured they kind of like went with the vibe of the of the crazy colors, right? So we're going to go in now. I have pink on, but we're going to hide that pink. So don't even look at the pink. We're going to go in with this palette that I'm giving away tonight. This palette is ridiculous, and you're going to see why. Okay, I'm going to use some of most of them on this palette, but I'm going to use a pink on another palette as well. So first thing we're going to do, pardon me while I belch, is I'm going to go in with the pink first. And I'm going to take the pink and I'm going to put the pink on my lid because we have pink there already. So we might as well add more pink to the lid. So we're going to go with all really vibrant colors um, summery colors. So this is going to be kind of like a summer vibe. Thank you, girls. Thank you for sprinkling. I appreciate it. You're the bestest. So I'm going in with the pink and I'm just going like a windshield wiper. Back and forth and back and forth. Just like a windshield wiper. Back and forth. All right, so there's the pink. Let's get to the green. This green is ridiculous. This is the one that I told you girls that you have to share out and sprinkle so this way you can get this flipping palette because this palette is the bomb, okay? It is the bomb.com. Let me get in with my, which one do I want to use? I guess I'll use this one. Let me clean. I have got to clean brushes this weekend because my brushes are a mess. From doing that old lady, everything is brown. So I'm going to go in and gather and load up my brush with this lime color green that I'm wearing that comes in the palette. And I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to start swiping it back and forth. And you're not going to see it for a little bit because it's going to be, it's so light that you really have to add some layers into it. But it is gorgeous, trust me. And I'm just coming in like that. Now, if you want to highly pigment it even more, what you can do is you can add some witch hazel, which I recommend witch hazel, not rose water. Um, witch hazel is a natural astringent. It is better than rose water. Does rose water smell better? Absolutely. Hello, Miss Janet. How are you, gorgeous? So I'm going to go in and get my, if I could find my little squirt bottle. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Where's my squirt bottle? Oh, it's behind that. Okay, I'm going to spritz my brush a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to go in with that green a little bit more. And it's going to really show you the color so we're gonna go in like so and i'm gonna really just get that green on the inside because we want to go dark on the outside we want to change it up on the outside so we're gonna leave the green that lime green on the inside right in here and i'm just gonna pull it up okay I missed part of it is what? Part of it is what? I am dropping so many brushes right now. They're all hitting my shirt. <laughs> They're all hitting my shirt. So see what I mean by this green? It is gorgeous. Anybody can use this color. Any eye color can use this color. Usually I'll tell you whether or not certain eye colors will go well with colors. This green goes awesome with blue eyes, green eyes, brown eyes, um, violet, hazel, whatever color you have, this is the color. 
okay? This is the palette that I'm giving away for 300 sprinkles or 150 people in the room tonight. So you know what you got to do. I can't do it for you, all right? We're going to go in with this gorgeous blue right there. It's like a teal blue. It, this is the palette I'm giving away, girls. This is the palette. So I'm going to go in with this blue. And I'm going to use it on the outside of the eye, starting about over here. And I'm going to start bringing it on the outside. And I'm going to push it into the green. So we're going to look almost like a rainbow tonight. But it's all going to be bright and vibrant. Okay, so we're just going to push it in. Um, I was just saying, Janet, it's really weird. Thank you for the hearts, Bobby. You're so sweet. Um, that I got a letter from the hospital today, and they said that their results on the MRI that they took were, in, like, inconclusive, I guess, or inaccurate. And they want me to go back to the hospital. And I was like, I'm not going to go back to the hospital right now because, I mean, if, I guess if it was an emergency, the doctor would have called me and said, listen, you got to get to the hospital right away. So am I nervous? Absolutely. I'm very nervous right now. Um, I'll probably go to the hospital tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to call my, my regular doctor to find out what I should do as well because I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do inconclusive or whatever they said, what does that mean? What exactly does that mean? It means that you doctors that is, went to college for eight years at least, right, um, were looking at my results from my MRI and you literally, pardon the language, fucked up. So now I got to get anxiety ridden and all worried even more so and wonder what the heck happened. Hey, Miss Hazel. What what did they not read right? You know, what did they not read right? Because something they didn't read right. And they're concerned about it. And they're concerned about it. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little nervous. A little nervous. I got to be honest. And uh, I, it's funny because today I really wasn't feeling that great. For the lip plumper. Could not find anything like it. Really? Sherry, it's called um, Candy Lips. Just Google Candy Lips or go on Amazon because that's where I got mine, on Amazon. And just go on there and, and Google Candy Lips and you'll find it. It's there. There's the red one that looks like an apple and then there's the black one. I like the apple one better. The black one never plumped my lips good. I don't know what... Maybe I got a dud or something. I don't know. Well, if I read it to you, let me, let me get, hold, don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Hold on. I'm going to read it to you guys. Okay. Now, nobody really knows on here what's wrong with me. I'm not really going to get into my diagnosis, okay? But it said, I can't even pronounce half of these words. I don't know if there's any nurses in here, but this was one of the things that they found. Um, this is not the major thing. They thought I had something wrong with my gallbladder, okay? Because I had severe stomach pains. I was vomiting like crazy. So it says impression, Cholelithesis with a mildly thickening gallbladder wall and trace amount of pericholecystic fluid. Findings suspicious for acute cholecystitis. I'm sorry if I'm butchering these words because I can't even. I'm reading it and going, what the frick are they talking about? Nuclear medicine Hepatobiliary scan may be useful in further evaluation. So it said on the letter, okay, this is the letter now. It says, Dear Diane M. Watson, the hospital they went to, performed on 614, has been read by radiologists. 
As a result of this final interpretation, further diagnostic testing will be needed to determine the additional treatment and action that is warranted. Please return immediately to the emergency department for follow-up and follow, also follow up with your primary physician or physician indicated in your discharge. Encloses a copy of the radiology report to take to the hospital with you. If you have any questions, please call the emergency department culture nurse. So, Gabrielle, it's freaking me out. Oh, were you, Jen? Were you, Sherry? But it's making me, like, it's making, and I'm pretty good, but it's making me um, have panic attacks now. Now it's starting where I'm getting worried and I'm having, like, panic attacks. So I have to go to the hospital tomorrow. I have to. Because I can't sit around and wonder and worry what's going on. You know, that's only part of it. That's only part of the diagnosis. Because they thought that I was vomiting because of my gallbladder. So, but I don't understand what any of those words mean. I'm going to have to, like, Google what they mean. I just got home a little while ago, and I went to the mailbox, and I got that. They told me that most likely I'd have to get my gallbladder taken out. They did say that as part of the, the process of whatever is getting done to me. Um, I'm using white on my waterline. That's coming with the free eyeshadow palette that I'm using on my eyes. Okay, I'm going to go with blue underneath the white. And this blue is a lot of people who are getting the July Beauty Box is getting this blue eyeliner. Okay, a lot of people are getting this blue, a lot of people are getting the black. It all depends on which one I put in the box. <laughs> it all depends which one goes in the box. Okay, so there's the blue. Aren't the colors gorgeous? So let me turn this fan on because now I'm starting to have a panic attack and I'm starting to sweat. What else is new? So, yeah, so I'm a little nervous, but you know what? I'll go to the hospital tomorrow and I'll find out what is going on. So we're kind of looking like a rainbow right now. I feel like rainbow bright. Who remembers rainbow bright? Rainbow Bright. Who remember Baby Chrissy? Does anybody remember Baby Chrissy or am I talking way? I'm talking way back, way back. So, all right, so we got the green, we got the blue, we got the pink. We're looking like Rainbow Bright. That's okay, Deirdre, no worries, babe. Inflamed. Now, days the hospital don't diagnose anything. They are told to treat. They're told to treat the emergency and then they refer you out. They will not diagnose you and tell you what's what. They tell you to just see another doctor, which is stupid because it defeats the whole purpose of a hospital. Absolutely. I agree with you one gazillion percent, Gabrielle. One gazillion percent. Because they told me it was my gallbladder and I'd probably need it removed. Gallstones. Yep, Bobby, that's what they said. That's right, sludge. The, all the words that you're using are absolutely yes. That is what they said. You had baby Chrissy. I had, they had two Chrissies, right? They had the tall, skinny Chrissy. And then they had the baby, baby Chrissy. I had the baby, baby Chrissy. I just got it from an estate sale. I couldn't believe I found her. I was like, oh my God. I was like a little kid because it brings back memories, right, of your childhood. So I actually found a baby Chrissy, which I, I just can't believe I even found. I mean, she's not in the greatest shape. She doesn't have the dress on that she had, you know, back in the day and all that stuff. But, um... 
gosh, it brought back such memories. I loved baby Chrissy. I used to pull a hair. Remember, you pull a hair. You pull the hair, and the hair goes long, and then they had the you, the circle ring in the back on her back, and you'd pull it, and the hair would pop up and sink back into the head and make it short again. Does everybody remember that? But that's what they are doing now, the least treatment. They, I think, too, Gabrielle, I think it's because of this COVID that they're trying not to keep people... Um, you know, they're not trying to admit people unless they're really, really sick. And yes, they de did say that the gallbladder would be an in and out procedure. Yes. It was, right? I was trained to be an MD, started having seizures. After so long, I was dropped. Had a second chance at Charlotte Hospital. Really, Sharon? A heart surgeon and I declined. I understand what you are reading. However, I feel warned by Facebook. I have been warned by Facebook not to give medical advice. I guess it. Are you serious? Really? By Facebook? Sherry, you can PM me. Message me and let me know what you think. As long as it's in a PM, they're not going to do anything. That's horrible. That's really, that sucks ass. That just sucks ass. All right, I'm going in with a black. I'm going in with my black. And we're just going to darken up the outside to give some contrast to the eyes. Because right now we look like rainbow bright. And I'm just going to darken up in here a little bit. So I'm just going like that. And I'm wetting my brush. And... For those of you who are watching me, no, this is not the brushes that I use on my clients, okay? On my clients, I would never stick a brush in my mouth and then put it on their eye. So, I know a lot of people come on and go, oh my God, she look at it, she's sticking it in her mouth. Yes, I am, because it's going on my eye and I feel the need to do that, okay? So, I've been doing that for years. Baby Chrissy, I loved baby Chrissy too, I did. But this one's in really, really poor shape. Really poor shape. The poor thing. Um, it looks like she went through hell and back. So, I don't know. She's naked. She's naked and afraid. <laughs> She's naked and afraid. So, we're going in with this black. And we're adding some depth to the eye, right? Because you need some depth. And you want everything coming up, right? You want all of it coming up. I passed a gallstone. I was at Walmart when I had four days. Of... Listen, all I know is if that was my freaking gallbladder that I was in keeled over in that much pain and throwing, and, and I don't mean to be gross, but throwing my freaking guts up, um, I can't even imagine because, well, I never gave birth vaginally. I had a section, so I don't even know what it's like to have... Um, labor pains. I don't. I don't know. I never went through any labor with my daughter. So thank God. See, God knows because I'm a wuss bag. I am a total wuss bag, and I'm a baby, and I don't like pain. I don't like pain. So he must have said, "Listen, we're just gonna let this one go because she can't have any pain. She'll flip and lose it." So. I just had a scheduled C-section, and I had the pain afterwards. Oh, boy, did I have the pain afterwards. Holy crap, holy. All right, so I'm going to add a little bit of this purple right in here. And this purple is in the palette that I'm giving away. I use that color, that color, and I'm going in with the purple, and there's the black right there. It's almost like a grayish black, but it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So, 300 sprinkles. I don't know where we're at right now, but I hope we can hit it tonight. I hope we can hit it. So, we're blending all these colors in because you don't want one color and then a line and another color and a line. You want everything blended nice and smooth. So, we're just going in and we're trying to blend all this in. Even the black, we're blending it in just to darken it up. 
So, yeah, I, I just, I don't understand. Besides my diagnosis, I don't understand. Oh, the dogs are going out. I'm like, what is going on out there? I just, he was, first of all, I told you, I, I think I told you, that the doctor was so flipping nasty. I just, I, I did not like the doctor at this hospital. It was a totally different hospital, like I said. And I just couldn't stand him. Couldn't stand him. It was almost like just kicking me out of the hospital. That's what I felt like. Two seconds after the MRI, the doctor comes in. He's like, okay, um, we're going to send you home. Stone stuck in my bowel duct. Oh, I had pancreatitis, Vicky, so bad. I almost died from it. I, that's what, that's why I was in the hospital, um, two years, two years ago for, for three months. I almost died because of the pancreatitis. It was horrible. M my levels, I don't remember what they said they were, but they were really, really bad. I forgot what they're supposed to be and what mine were. It was so long ago, but it was bad. Really, really bad. So we got... I'm going to add a little bit more pink in here, bring it up, because we don't really have a lot of pink. We got the purple going on, so we'll add some pink up into the green, okay? Yeah, they were just, they were just, it, it wasn't my hospital that I normally go to, and I don't know if that really makes a difference or not, but... Bedside manner to me means everything, and they were just, oh, it was like they were in a rush. They, they, oh, okay, thank you, Miss Tia. Um, Miss Tia is sharing me out, so if anybody else can help her and sprinkle me out to any groups that you may belong to, I would appreciate it. I would appreciate it. We're going to go in with a little bit of this bright, gorgeous crimson orange. And we're just going to rock the house right now. You ready? Here we go. Right there. Just rock the house with this crimson orange right in the crease. Right there. Wow. Tell me that did not make a big difference right there. That's flipping ridiculous. I feel like a rainbow. I feel like a rainbow. <laughs> All right, so it's time to blend. Let us blend. Yeah, you know what? I remember when I was really young, I used to get pneumonia a lot, a lot. And my mother, my, my doctor that my mother chose for me was her doctor. So he wasn't really a pediatrician. He was just a regular medical doctor. And let me tell you, when I had pneumonia and I had a, almost 104 fever and I was like in the, on the verge of like being, uh, what do you call it, hallucinating because my fever was so high, he actually came to my house. I remember it like it was yesterday and I must have been like eight years old or nine years old. He came to the, he came to the house with his little black bag and um and did what he had to do for my pneumonia it was amazing would doctors ever do that now absolutely not absolutely not <laughs> a human skittle i love that <laughs> i love it i'm a human skittle <laughs> that's funny. That's that's a good one. That's a good one. I gotta say, that's a good one. A human skittle. All right, let's go in with our little pot bag. Where's my pot bag? Oh, where's my pot bag go? Oh, here it is. Here's my pot bag. 
I told you, this is going to last like forever and ever. It's really going to last forever. I know, Bobby. It sucks. It sucks. I hate it. It was so cool, though. Rem I, like, I can remember it so vividly. Like, when he came to the, when he came to the house. So clearly. All right, where is my brush? I just flipping at the brush. What did that do? Here it is. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go in my little pot bag, and we're going to grab some of this pot out. <laughs> and we're going to clean up these eyebrows right in here, and we're just going to go like so. I'm going to turn the brush around, and I'm going to come down. And just follow the brow line, okay? Now I'm going to take my fluffy brush. And I'm just going to go back and forth just to lighten this up a little bit along the brow line. Just like that. This is all getting cleaned up. We all know that, right? So let's do the same with the other. Hey, Kaz, how are you? Doctor's making house calls. That's right. Listen, I would tell you something. If there was any doctor that made house calls still, he would be, like, super rich. I mean, it's not like they don't make a lot of money as it is, but he would be really super rich because people would love that, right? People would love it. But I think that they don't do it anymore because all of these people, these assholes that are just, like, sue happy, they go in and suing everybody, right? So I guess they're afraid to go anywhere, or diagnose anybody outside of the hospital because they're afraid they're going to get sued. And I think that's just ridiculous. I think that's just so stupid. Aw, uh, thank you, Claire. How are you, gorgeous? Bridget, my girl. How are you, my girl, Bridget? Bridget, Bridget, Bridget. All right. Let me move this fan out of the way. Can you hear the fan? You can hear it, right? I'm sure you can hear it. I'm sure you can hear the fan. So I'm going to go and do my cleaning up. We're going to plump our lips. We're going to bang our lashes out like crazy. We're going to contour. Especially older people. Especially the older people. Yes. So I'm going to plump my lips. As I'm plumping my lips, I hope all of you will sprinkle out. We have 37 people in here. If every person that's 37 people in here sprinkle out to at least five, you can sprinkle out to 10 groups. 10. If everybody sprinkles out to 10 groups, we'll have 380 people in here. Hello? Hello? Does anybody want this palette? Does anybody want the white eyeliner? Come on. If everybody sprinkled out to 10 groups or tagged 10 friends to come in here, we would have 300 and some odd people in here. So it just goes to show the regulars are sharing and the newbies are not. So my YouTube is Diane Watson, which is Diane with two N's. That's my uh, YouTube channel, Diane Watson. And my Instagram is Diane's Makeup Therapy. And it's all one word. Diane with two N's, Diane's Makeup Therapy. You could follow me on there. All my pictures are on there. Um, Instagram has all of my videos from all of my Fantasy Friday looks. The old lady, both old ladies now. Um, the scarecrow, um, the black half face, the... Um, Raggedy Ann, the scary Raggedy Ann. It's got tons of them. So please go on there and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Listen, you can sleep all you want. I do not expect you to come on here, Bridget. It is way too late for you in Yorkshire. In Yorkshire. Thank you, Miss Jen. Okay, so I'm going to go and plump my lips. We got 35 people in here. If all 35 sprinkle out while well, I'm done with this, we'll have 350 people in the room. Let's try it. Ready? And go.
Come on, girls, where is everybody? Okay, so I just put a coat of my mascara on. And now we're going to go and we're going to start building up our cheeks. We're going to build up our cheeks. We're going to build up our cheekbones. We're going to plump our lips. And we're going to start giving our face some depth. Thank you for sprinkling, girls. No, Vicky, I haven't. But I've seen them. I've seen them, but I haven't tried them. Honestly, I never really use a lip plumper unless I'm going out somewhere really fancy. Or I'll use it on a client only if they have very, very thin lips. And very rarely do they, do they even want me to do it. So I don't usually do it. So we're just going in with our contour. And we're pretty tan right now because remember we use that that leg stuff, what was it called again? Airbrush Legs by Sally Hansen to give us this gorgeous tan tonight. And we're just gonna go and contour the nose area. And it's gonna come up to the brow and straight down the side of the bridge of the nose. Yeah, they have a battery plumper that will actually start sucking for you. <laughs> It'll suck it for you. You just put it on your lips and it's, it's like a vacuum. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I would be afraid of that. I'd be afraid of that. So I've never used it, but I've seen some YouTube videos gone all gone wrong, right? Gone wrong videos. So this is giving you a straight nose, a chiseled nose. And then, like I said, over here, when you're doing this contour right there, that line, you want to make sure that that line is crisp and clean. If for any reason you're very shaky and you can't do it, use a credit card, use something that's flat, and you'll get it to where it's really, really straight and it's looking on point. Don't forget your face starts behind your ear and you're gonna do your jawline. Anybody that's over the age of 35, you're gonna start getting jowls. So you wanna start giving the impression that you have a really chiseled jawline. So you wanna just pretend that you don't have those jowls. So we're gonna get rid of them right now. We're gonna get rid of them and we're gonna come underneath that double chin. If we have a double chin, Come around here. And what is the most important thing? Make sure you go down your neck. Because if you don't go down your neck, you're gonna look like you've got a ring around your face, like ring around the collar, but ring around your neck. And it's gonna look ridiculous, okay? So that looks good. You're gonna go all around your whole face, like a number three, coming down, around and underneath your chin. That's an, the beginner's way of learning how to contour, doing a number three, okay? I'm doing it, or a letter E, going this way and under, okay? So that's an easy way to remember it. I think it's kind of corny, so I don't usually do that, but <laughs> it's all right. Do you look like men's lips? I have a place for it. What? Do you do the look like men's lips? Do the look for men's lips? I don't I don't quite know what you mean. All right, we're back in with our pot. <laughs> Oh, God, people are going to be like, what is she talking about? And I'm going to go in, and we're going to go in deep into this, and we're going to grab a lot of product out of here. And we're going to do our forehead first, do a happy little tree. Okay. Go down the middle of your nose. Try to keep your hands straight. Do the teardrops, five teardrops from the corner. One, two, three, four, and five is in close to your eye. Same thing with the other one. Pull your hair out of the way. One, two, three, four, and five is in there. Then you're gonna do one right about there and one right about there. And what that's gonna do is it's actually gonna give you a, a triangle. See that triangle right there? Straight down, across, and in. It's gonna give you that triangle and that's what you want. Then you're gonna do your Cupid's bow right in the middle. You're gonna do your chin. And these are the areas that we're gonna highlight. Welcome, Sally. I'm gonna go here and we're just gonna color that in. Any newbies in the house, please make sure you come on and say hello. How you doing? Let me know where you're from. Any New Yorkers in the house? Any Northerners? Anybody from overseas? Please say hello. We got some people from Yorkshire, England. We got some people from over the, on the other side of the ocean. That's right, we are not rude. We say hello to everybody that comes in this room and says hello. So please make sure my girls, all of you, you all know, when somebody new comes in here, we always say hello, we're not rude. So right now, we're just gonna blend this all in. Takes two seconds, literally. Okay, there's the one, done. Down the nose, and we're gonna start going into the nose down into the eye, 
and around and we're gonna pull it up. And as we pull it up, we're gonna clean up that eyeshadow right there. And we're gonna come around and come down and connect it. Okay, same thing with this. We're gonna come from the eyebrow area, come down and come around and come up. So it's from the corner of your eye to the corner of your brow, come around and blend. Your whole nose, you're gonna come down and bring it straight up. You don't wanna pull it, it this way, you wanna go straight up with it. So pull it down and then straight up because you wanna keep this line going with these lines. See the direction? That's what's gonna give you really high cheekbones, okay? So we're just gonna go in like so. Make sure that that's blended. Your Cupid's bow, you always lighten that up. Your chinny chin chin. We're gonna come in here and we're just gonna clean this area up. Bring it around to your chin, underneath your lip. Make sure you blend that. Over here, bring it down, connect it to your chin. My ears are so red right now. I don't know why I have red ears. I don't know why. Can somebody Google why your ears are always red? Uh-oh. Miss Sally's banned and blocked. With what with what spelling of what oh of the words. Okay, yes, I will. Yes, I will. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Sherry. Okay, so all of this is straight. Now, if that line right there is too predominant for you, you can just blend it in a little bit. Just pat it, okay, so you don't see the line so much. I like the line. So I like having this line right there working because it shows that my, my cheekbones are going up. Okay, so let's see. How are we? How are we? How are we? How is everybody? So Miss Sally was a fake and a phony. Miss Sally had a fake profile, so my admins kicked her out. Come on, girls. That's all we have is 60 sprinkles in this room. Come on, girls. What's up tonight? What's up with you? What's up with you? Come on. We can do this. We can do it. Right here. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Oh, I had this palette out too. Listen, if we get to 300 sprinkles, you can have your choice of this one. <gasps> this is my Eye Thrills palette. It's the last one I got. Last one I got. Or you can have, where'd the other one go? Lord have mercy. Like Rosie Bacala, I would say. I must have put it somewhere. Oh, they're right here. Or the palette that I used tonight. The Starry Nights palette, okay? So you can have this one or this one. Plus the eyeliner. Plus the eyeliner. Come on, girls. What are you, out of your gourd? What are you, out of your gourd? Let's go. Sprinkle away. Get 150 people in here. I know you want that palette. I know you want that palette. Why'd you delete everybody, Shannon? Thank you, by the way. You want it, Tanya? Well, don't share 30 million times on your personal page. <laughs> you got to share it out to public groups, and they got to be public. So do your best. Do your best. And if everybody can help you sprinkle... We need 300 sprinkles. We only have 60. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. So, sprinkle out. All the groups. I mean, like I, I always tell you girls, I do the same thing. When I'm bored and I'm sitting in front of the TV and I'm watching TV, I will go into the groups, I'll search groups, and I'll do fabulous 50-year-olds or beautiful over 60 or beautiful over 30 or women over 30 groups or classified, oh, pardon me, um, North Carolina classifieds, um, New York classifieds, Miami classifieds. I'll join every single flipping classified ad there is. 
I'll also join every makeup and skincare. And now what I've been doing is I've been joining all the nail groups, manicuring, nail technicians, nail art. A lot of them I join because I put my pictures of my nail art on those pages. So I share out not only my nail art, but I share out my makeup as well. So the more the merrier is the way I look at it, right? So I'm going to go in and I'm going to grab my brush and we're going to go in with a really pretty lip color. Let's go in with a pretty lip color. I'm going to go in and it's going to look kind of different tonight because I've never really used like an orangey color. So we're going to go with orangey. We're going to go orangey. I'm going to see how it's going to look. It might be too light. I don't know. So we'll check it out. And I could tell already it's going to be too light. So hold on. Let me go to the darker orange and then we'll lighten it up. I'm going to go in with that crimson color that I used on my eye. And I'm holding it sideways so you can see. And remember when you're doing your lips, you have corners of your mouth and you wanna make sure that you are attaching it. Attach. 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 Now I'm going to go in with that gorgeous orangey color or the peachy color. I got to use a different brush though now, so hold on. And let's see. And like I said, this is eyeshadow. I never use really lipstick. Once in a blue moon, I'll use lipstick, but not really. Not so really. And a lot of people will ask me if you're using eyeshadow as lipstick, isn't it dry on your lips? Yeah, it is. So I use um, a lip balm on top of it you can use a lip gloss over it if you want a glossy finish you can use like a chapstick a bliss text anything like that that's just going to add some moisture back into your lips thank you for sprinkling by the way all my girls out there thank you so much so we're gonna Ombre out these lips a little bit. We're going to darken it with Nocturnal on the outside. Which is kind of like a dark berry. So we're going to go a little darker on the outside. Not much, but just to add a little bit more plumpness to the lip. Okay. <laughs> Cecile, I love you. Oh my God. You have no idea how much I love you. I love you. You love me. <laughs> I love you, my Cecile. Okay, I'm just going to add some of the color that I just used on my lips onto my eyes a little bit because I need them to bounce off. So, that's the color of the lips. I love them. I love, love, love them. I love this color. I love this palette. We need to fix under here. I see some brown that I did not get. So, we'll, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to add some in here. Thank you for sprinkling, girls. You guys are the bomb.com. 
You girls are awesome sauce. Thank you so much. So I'm going to go in and I'm just going to kind of like, where's my brush? Where's my brush go? Holy shamizels. I just had it. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so let's clean up right here because I could see that I messed up right there. So we're going to pull that in. Okay? We're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to pull that in. And we got the eyes going. We got the contour going. We got to get the cheeks going. I'm going to add a little bit of shimmer right here. Just in the middle of your lip. If you add lip gloss just to the middle of your lip, it's going to make your lips plump out more. Okay? Now we're going to go in with our blush, and we're going to remember that line that we're following. And we're following that line coming up. We're going to make our cheekbones come up. So I'm going to go in with my blush brush, and we're going to load up this brush. We're going to load it up. So I'm just going to keep patting this blush. And this is a peachy color blush rather than a pink blush because we got more of an apricot on our lips. We got a rainbow all over our eyes. So hello, Eminem. How are you? Oh, uh, Brenda, I'm feeling, today was not one of the greatest days for me, but I'm okay. I got you guys, so I'm good. I'm good. I got you guys in here with me, so I'm good. Whenever you're in here with me, you make me feel better. Just remember that. Whenever you're all in here, you make me feel better, and that's the truth. So, thank you so much for asking. asking. Zola, thank you for sprinkling. I appreciate it so so much more than you know um this page will also be shared on my youtube channel my youtube channel is diane watson diane with two n's watson i add a little bit of blush to the tip of my nose a little bit on my chin and then i come around and do around the horn and to the cheekbones okay underneath here your nose and then we're going to go and do another coat of our mascara because we ain't done with these lashes yet, girls. We ain't done. These lashes are going to be banging. They're going to be slamming. So let's go and do the last coat of our mascara. And then we're going to go and bake. And for those of you who have no idea what baking is, you've got to stay on here and watch because it's super duper important. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Diane Watson, and I am a professional makeup artist and skincare professional. I'm also a professional nail technician, nail artist, um, you name it, anything with art, usually I'm pretty good at. Usually I'm pretty good, but uh, makeup is probably my main gig. Even though I love doing nails, makeup is... Um, my passion. It is something that I love doing. I love doing it for the elderly. I go to nursing homes and I, I do um, makeup and I do their nails. So I love doing that. That's something that means a lot to me. And the elderly, that is one of my passions is to spend as much time with people in a nursing home and letting them know that they're not alone. Because I'll tell you right now, I go there every Christmas to the same nursing home. I'm sure a lot of you don't know this story, but I go to the same nursing home every Christmas. Frankie dresses up as Santa. I am Mrs. Claus. We go to Walmart. we go to Home Depot. We pick up about 200 point set of plants at Home Depot. We usually take out all the stock that they have left, and we go to the nursing home and we visit every single resident in the nursing home. And we sit there and we talk and um, like I say all the time, the poinsettias don't mean crap. They don't mean shit to these people, okay? To these elderly, wonderful souls that they are. They could care less. All they want is for you to sit there and spend time with them. That's it. To cover them. Their hands are ice cold. You know, their blankets on the other side of the room. And they're sitting in their little chair. And they're freezing. And, you know, listen. 
I am, I give nurses and people that work in nursing homes so much credit, but they can't spread it. They, they, they're spreading themselves so thin. They need more of these people, these caregivers, these nurses aides, these CNAs to, you know, come in and spend more time with these elderly people. So my thing is I go there and I sit and I talk and there's one gentleman that I go in and I sit with. He's like a hundred, a hundred and one years old. And let me tell you, this man upstairs, he's got more noodles up there than I do. Okay. For a hundred years old. And he talks to me. He shows me his plaques with his cell, his, um, his medals in it from the war. He, he earned the purple heart. Um, he tells stories of the war and what he went through. I mean, it's just, you can't, you can't read this stuff in books. You just can't read it in books. So I go for the simple fact that they want to talk. These elderly people, they want to talk. They want, they want somebody to hear them and they want you to talk to them. And, um, I go, I try to make it there as much as I can. And I haven't seen them now since Christmas. So you're not allowed in the nursing homes yet. So as soon as they reopen, I will be going there. Um, I usually take donations when I do go. I will let you all know. Blankets. Listen, if any of you girls want to donate for these blankets for the elderly, I'm telling you, there is a shortage of blankets. Blankets, blankets. I don't care if they're just little throw blankets or blankets for it. They have single twin beds. They don't have nothing bigger than a twin bed. So if you're going to give a blanket for a bed, it's got to be twin size, okay? I will PM you my address. Um, if you want to donate money, um, my PayPal is pasted below. Um, I'll go out. I'll go get the blankets. I'll show you the blankets, what your money paid for. Uh, so this way you know that I'm not just taking your money, which I would never do ever anyway. But... Um, you know how the internet is and what people do. So uh, that's just something that I would do. But I would rather you guys get the blankets and, and send them to me when I can get there. Which hopefully, we're going into phase three here in North Carolina. So I'm hoping that within the next couple weeks, I'll be able to get there and visit all of my, all of my friends. And I really, truly, my, my heart is very, very heavy right now. Because I don't know who made it through this coronavirus and who hasn't. I do know that from what the nurses, aides, and the nurses tell me is a lot of the people that I know personally, these beautiful elderly people, um, their children, their, their children or their nieces or their nephews drop them off there. And out of 210 residents, maybe... 50% of their children get come and visit them. The rest, they're all forgotten. All of these old, beautiful souls that took care of their kids when they were young, you know, who's taking care of them when they're old, right? So I don't know if they made it. I don't know who made it, but I will say this. Um, it's going to be... A happy day for me and it's gonna be a very sad day for me when I go back and I can get back in so if you want to donate blankets please um, you can message Tia she can give you my address um, if you want to donate on PayPal you can donate on PayPal I don't care if it's five dollars I don't care if it's ten dollars I can get blankets in like Dollar General or something for like five or 10 bucks. So I don't care what you wanna donate, that's totally up to you. Yeah, I know, they don't, they, well that's what the, the nurses say that. They just drop them off until these people pass away. And then miraculously, all of the children, right, that dropped them off in these nursing homes um, miraculously, they come back and they're like, and they act like, oh my gosh, my mother died, my grandmother, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, all they were out for was the money. All they were out for was the money. And it's just the saddest thing. It breaks my heart. It breaks my heart to the point where I cry about it. I cry about it. 
So, but we're not going to cry. I just wanted to let you know that we are in need of blankets for these people, for these gorgeous souls of the elderly who are often forgotten. And all I can say is if you do have an elderly parent, if you have elderly grandparents that are still with us, please do me a favor. Spend as much time with them as you can because time is precious. Time is truly, truly precious. And you will never know what it's like to be an orphan until you lose both parents. Until you lose both parents, it is truly a feeling of being an orphan. So I know the feeling all too well. I've lost both of my parents at a young age. And when you, lo when you lose one parent, it's bad enough. But when you lose both parents, that second parent passes away, you feel like you don't even belong to any part of your family anymore. It's a very strange feeling. And only those who have lost both their mother and their father will truly know what I mean. And they'll understand. So I'm going in and I'm just blending the bake. We're blending the bake. You know why? Because they, they, are, they are cowards. These people that drop off their parents at these nursing homes, they, they're just cowards and they're freaking, I'm sorry, but they're lazy. They're lazy. They don't want to spend time with their parents. They don't want to, it's a burden. Don't you understand? To these, to these, to these people, they are a burden. And it's, it's the saddest thing you ever want to see is when these elderly people grab your hand and say, thank you so much. Um, am I going to see you again? Breaks your heart. Breaks your heart. So, like I said, I know for a fact that the winters here in North Carolina are not cold. But you go into these nursing homes, the one that I go into anyway, it's an assisted living slash nursing home. And it is freezing in there. Why? I have no idea. Because you know that elderly people are usually cold, right? They're always cold. Their hands are cold. So just because it's not winter does not mean that they don't need blankets, okay? So if anybody wants to donate money, my PayPal account is on the bottom. If you want to send blankets, whatever you want to do, please let me know. Let Miss Tia know. We will make sure that these elderly people, once I can get back in, are going to get these blankets and be nice and warm. Um, because really and truly, that's, that's heartbreaking when you go in there and you feel their hands and their hands are like ice cubes. Ice cubes. So baking, baking is a process that, um, especially now with the summer coming in, and it getting humid and hot. Even if you live in a, in a warm climate that's not humid, you do sweat and perspire a lot. So if you're wearing foundation, concealer, eyeshadow, eyebrow, anything on your face, when you're sweating, all of that is going to start dripping down your face. You might, might not see it visually dripping down your face, but your, your blush, instead of it being up here, your blush is going to come down, okay? It, everything's going to look washed out. So the main point of baking is to take translucent setting powder and highlight the areas that are most important to highlight first, which is your forehead, underneath your eyes, your side of your nose like a little triangle, your cupid's bow, your chin, and then we're going to highlight right here because we want our cheeks coming up. Everything, when you get older, you want going up. You don't want it coming down. You want your cheekbones to come up. You want your eyes to come up. Never follow the upper line of your eye and follow it down. Always follow the underneath part of your eye and go up. Same thing with your lips. Even women that have the frown lips, you want to really bring the bottom part of your lip up so it looks like it's lifting up, like you're not like that. Because a lot of times, if you smoked throughout the years, you're going to get those fine lines, and you're also going to get the lines where it come, makes your lip come down, right? I even have that a little bit, because I smoked for so many years. Hey, Paisan, how are you? So, how 
How many sprinkles do we got, jumpies? Did you buy banana powder, Bridget? That's awesome. That's awesome. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Banana powder is the best translucent setting powder because it's highly pigmented, which means it's not white. It's cream color, okay? It's like skin color, all right? That's what color it should be, the true banana powder. Um, it's highly pigmented, and it's finely, finely milled. And what that means to you as a consumer means that when you put it on your face, it's going to go on and it's going to be like baby powder on your face. Like, you know when you feel cornstarch between your fingers or baby powder, how soft and silky it is? I use cornstarch because cornstarch is so finely milled, it's ridiculous. So if you put cornstarch between your fingers and you go like this, it feels like silk. That's what banana powder does. It is finely milled, it's pigmented, and it's going to hide some imperfections while also keeping everything in place in the hot summer months and you're not going to go and melt away. 121 sprinkles. Come on, girls. We can get to 200. So I'm just going to show you quickly, and this is just a quick little demonstration. I don't go and sell no makeup. I don't, I don't tell you girls to go out and buy any makeup unless I think it's really, really good, right? So I don't belong to any multi-level marketing company anymore. I was way up there with Unique. I was an exclusive executive presenter with Unique, and I wound up resigning my position because of drama and bullshit with catty women. Can't deal with it. So I just kept on going with my business that I had prior to Unique, which is Enhanced Beauty Therapy. Um, it is my freelance makeup business that I do weddings and sweet 16s and proms and all that kind of stuff, and I did that before Unique. So Unique was not something new that I never knew what it was um, or didn't know about makeup. I knew about makeup way before Unique came about. But um, I'm going to show you something right now. Let me find the shade. I guess I could use this shade. And I'm going to go, and I'm going to go, let me take my watch off. Let me take my let me take my watch off so I can show you. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna put some lipstick right here. Is that too light? Uh, I don't know. I'll put it over there and I'll put it there. We'll see if it's too light. Okay, see those two? That's lipstick. I'm just using lipstick as an example. Then I'm gonna go in with the banana powder. Okay, banana powder is cream color. See the cream color? It's not white. Unique's translucent setting powder is white. It is not cream color. You want to get cream color banana powder. It says banana powder, or if you don't want the banana powder, just make sure that it's finely pigmented and finely milled and it's cream color, not white. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my brush and I dipped it into my translucent setting powder and I'm gonna go over, let me go over this one right here because you're gonna be able to see this one better. So I'm just going and I'm tapping it onto that lipstick, okay? So then we got that lipstick and we got that lipstick. They're both exactly the same. All I did was put translucent setting powder, right? So now watch, when I go like this, look at what happens. That's the one without the translucent setting powder on it. Okay, let me wipe my finger. I'm gonna wipe my finger. I'm gonna use my middle finger on this one. Okay, so now here's the one with the translucent setting powder on it. Now see, it's coming off there, but it's not, blend it's not doing this. Okay, so this is staying in place. Now I'm kind of pushing hard. Okay, but this is all over my arm. Look at that. It's all over. So basically what it does is it keeps everything in place. Everything in place. So what I do, especially in the summertime, is I'll give you a couple of tips and tricks before we go. Um, I will take it. And I use LA Colors. I have LA Colors right now that I'm using as the banana powder. And it's, it's the light color. Okay? It's light. And I will take a big fluffy brush. 
and I'll dip it into my translucent setting powder and I will do my brows because when I sweat, my brows are the first thing that I'm like, I'm like wiping my face, right? Oh, it's all hot. So it won't move. They won't move if you put brows on, okay? Whether it's a brow gel, a brow pencil, your brows are not going anywhere. So I do my brows. They ain't going nowhere. Then I'll add a little extra right in here. Like I do the triangle. Right here, a little triangle. And I just blend it all in. Okay, I do the other side right here because on the side of my nose is where I really sweat a lot. I really sweat and underneath my eye, I want to make sure that nothing's going wrong under there. <laughs> so I'll do there. I'll do my Cupid's bow a little bit underneath my chin and then my lipstick. Super important. Your lipstick's going to bleed. It's, it's just going to bleed. Everybody's lipstick bleeds. That's why I don't use a lipstick liner. I don't use a lipstick liner. I use eyeshadow when I'm lining my lips. All right, because it does not bleed as much. So I use a eyeshadow to line my lips, an eyeshadow to color my lips, and then I'll use, like I said, either a lip balm or a lip gloss over my lips. I've done this with my clients for years. They love it. It makes your lipstick if you want to call it lipstick, even though it's eyeshadow, it makes your lipstick stay on so much longer. You know, the one thing that I hate is when you put makeup on, you put your lips on, usually your lips are the last thing that you put on, right? Usually. Um, and you go out, within like 25 minutes, you're drinking your coffee, you're drinking out of a sippy cup, you're going out to dinner, whatever you're eating, you excuse yourself, you go into the restroom, you look at yourself in the mirror and you go, holy crap, where are my lips? I know I put lipstick on, where is my lips? So, when you use eyeshadow as a lip liner and eyeshadow as a lipstick and you set it with translucent setting powder, I go around the outside perimeter of my lips especially if you have issues with your lipstick bleeding into fine lines. And I just pat it in like that. If you want, you can pat the whole lip. If you want to pat the whole lip, pat the whole lip. It will not make your lipstick come off for hours hours trust me when i tell you because i am a lipstick girl i'm not so much a lip gloss unless i'm using something like i just did um but uh it it definitely it'll make it stay on so much longer you're gonna be like yeah i can't believe it i'm gonna be like see i told you so i'm just gonna go back in with this color and we're just going to do one more coat of our mascara and then we're going to be done we're going to be done and i'll take my selfies and i'll be on tomorrow doing um nail art on my nails i just did a fill-in today i did a fill-in uh took off that um what was i calling it cotton candy cotton candy i took off the cotton candy and i wound up uh filament let me tell you holy shit it took me so long to take that cotton candy off i was like never again never again you know why because i put all the rhinestones like all along the cuticle area all along here tons of rhinestones all different colors I had to pick it off, each one off with the cuticle nippers and snip the rhinestones off. And then I had to drill with my Dremel to get all of that gook and gack because I used so much to make sure that they adhered. So I had gel on top of it. Oh my God, it was a hot mess. So it took me a good hour just to take off all of that. Then I had to fill it in. Oh, it was just... I wish one of these can just actually come to my house 
and do mine for me, do my nails for me, please somebody come. Because I hate doing my own nails. I literally, everybody's like, oh, you're so lucky with the COVID and all that. You never had to worry about your nails or anything because you could do it on your own. Bye, humbug. Bye, humbug. That's all I got to say. Bye, humbug. Because it's a pain in the arse. I'll say that. It's a pain in the arse. It is, it is, it is. So, this is the look. Oh, you know what? We I forgot. Dang it. I forgot. Hold on. I'm going to go in with some gold. Um... What does this say? I'm, I'm just trying to read what this says. Highlighter. It's not really a highlighter. It's more like a shimmer. So I'm going to go in with my shimmer shim. And we're going to shimmer out this face a little bit. And we're going to go with this. And this is a gold. So you're going to see a little bit of a gold tint coming down my nose. Tip of my nose. Cupid's bow on my chinny chin. Come up here. Way up high. Way up high. Come over here way up high. So now we got the chocolate, the strawberry, the vanilla. Tip of your nose, down your nose, your forehead. And that's it. You don't go cray cray. Don't go crazy, especially if you are older. You do not want to go crazy on the highlighter or the illuminizer or whatever you want to call it. Because you'll look older. It will make you look older. It will make all of those wrinkles and crinkles appear 10 times worse. So I'm just telling you. So go very light on the highlighter if you're going to use it at all. The only time I really use highlighter anyway is at nighttime. If you're going out to a nice dinner and it's going to be candlelit. I haven't done that in a while anyway. So I haven't used it <laughs> at all. I know, Bridget. I'm sorry. It's just been, I've been crazy busy. Crazy busy. Um, and with my health right now, I've been so concerned with that. But you know what? It'll be a good takeaway. Um, it'll be a good thing to concentrate on doing the website and get my mind off of everything else. Get my mind off of everything else. Because um, honestly, at this point, I need to to think of other things. I need to think of other things. So, um, like I said, if anybody wants to donate any blankets, um, you can message Tia. If you want to PayPal me, however much you want to spend on either a blanket, a quilt, a bedspread, a throw blanket, I don't care what it is. Um, they all need it. I don't care how many, 200, all 200 need it. I'll just say that. You know, if they do have blankets, they're old, they're corroded, they're like falling apart. They were probably donated and they're just smelly and old. You know what I mean? So they deserve a new nice blanket. And it doesn't have to be Christmas. It does not have to be Christmas for them to get something nice and make them smile and make them feel nice and warm and comfy and cozy. Right? Gosh dang it, people. Where is your heart? That's all I got to say. Where is your heart? Think about it. Is it really that much money to put a smile on an elderly person's face and make them feel warm and loved? You know, I, I tell it like it is. I tell it like it is. For those of you who can't afford $10, then don't send it. I totally get it. I totally get it if you can't afford it. Um, if you can afford it, it'll give you a warm, fuzzy feeling in your heart. Because you'll know that you helped somebody. And I am hoping now that when I do go back, I'm going to be taking pictures with these elderly people. So you can see on my Facebook exactly who I talk about. When I talk about Miss Ellie. Miss Ellie who, who lived on a farm and, 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 and picked cotton. She picked cotton. She had her, her ancestors were like slaves. It was just crazy. Easy. The stories that these people tell, it's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, hello, Miss Karen. 
So anyway, girls, I love you. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Please make sure you start a watch party. Sprinkle me out. Post me on your wall for a little while. If you don't want me on your wall for that long, take me off tomorrow. Put me on for a little while, and then you can take me down if you don't want me on your wall. Um, get into some groups. That would really, really help me to get into groups. If you can do that for me, that would be awesome. Um, and just know that... I'm here for you. I don't want you to ever feel like you're alone. Just like I don't want any of these elderly people to feel like they're alone. Uh, it's just, it's got to be, and I have to say, it's got to be one of the worst feelings in the world. Wouldn't you think? Wouldn't you think that it's probably one of the worst feelings in the world to feel alone in this world and to die alone? Or to think that you're going to die alone without family or friends or people near you that love you and care for you. I think about it all the time. And it's, it's not like a morbid thing. I don't think it's morbid. I just think that, you know, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone when I die. I want to have family. I want to have loved ones with me. I don't want to be thrown into a nursing home. I don't want to be thrown into a nursing home and forgotten. You know, I get it. Some people cannot take care of their elderly parents and they have no choice. But, like I said, if you're going to do that, you better be going and visiting them. Bring them food. Bring them blankets. Bring them clean clothes. Bring them new clothes. All of these things that they need. Don't just drop them off and forget about them until they die and you want their money from their will. Because you know what? If I could go and change all of their wills where none, none of these people get any money, man, I would be absolutely not giving them a flippin' frickin' dime. That, I'll tell you that much. But anyway, you see my New York come out a little bit. But I love you and sleep with angels. Jennifer, have an awesome night. Brenda, big hugs to you right back. Lisa, I love you. Bridget, I love you, sweetie. Jesse, Rosie Bacala, all my girls, Tia, everybody that's on here. Like I said, if you want to donate the blankets or you want to donate money, please message Tia or you can reach me on my PayPal account, which is right there below. If you want to get into the July's Beauty Box, it is $70. You're getting eight products in the Beauty Box. All of my favorite things, including the eyeshadow palette that I just used. Um, you're getting skincare. You're getting sunglasses. You're getting um, an accessory jewelry. You're getting um, a lippy. You're getting a blush. You're getting so many things. Um, for $70, you cannot beat it. So if you'd like, you can get it. It's not a subscription. You don't have to get it next month if you don't want to. Um, but that is where, right down below, is where you would order your beauty box. All you need to do is send $70 and include your name and address in the memo. Because if I don't know where to send it, it ain't getting sent. So, And we don't like going and hunting people down. So please make sure your name and address is on there. Other than that, I love you. Sleep with angels. God bless you. And please join me tomorrow night. Um, for our nail art. Okay, we're going to be doing nail art tomorrow. Um, not sure what time, but we're going to be doing nail art tomorrow. And I'll be on here at 9 o'clock Eastern Time tomorrow. So, sleep with angels. I love you, Lisa Parolo. Miss Hazel, you are the bestest ever, ever, ever. I love you so much. Um, and God bless you all. And I will see you tomorrow. Good night, girls.